Hello everyone, today I finished object video and slightly different thing because I knitted these socks I think in April 2019? I think so. So. In this lovely bag I finished something that was top secret. All links down below. So uh, I got this bag and I put a project in it. Well, first yarn. And the yarn I used, I used, um, I was looking for something in my stash that time that will have a tonal because I knew that the, the pattern is so beautiful. So check it out over here. And I think it would present very well with tonal yarn. Um, so I was looking for something that I had, that I could have in my stash. And this is what I came across. Um, this lovely, lovely blue. You can see it on the screen now. And hopefully I have a tag, which is a Vidalana. This is a Knit Create yarn and I got it in January 2019. I have a, I make a note. Um, so very good for me. Uh, Vidalana um, Ambient Sock Robin's Promise. 80% Peruvian Highline Wool and 20% Nylon. We have fingering weight, which is 400 yards, 365 meters. You heard it, 365 meters. It classified as a fingering. Uh, so I used it and um, I knit it two at a time and eventually I can take the needles off the thing and I have a hook also. I think I needed the hook for some, some part of it, not that you would need to do it, I think. So here it is. And I knitted them according, like I remember, two at a time. So let me show you. So here it is. see that they're kind of loose on my sock blockers. <sighs> to be honest I didn't wash them and I didn't uh, block them and I did not weave in ends yet. <laughs> now what I can tell you about this pattern. So basically not so much because I knitted it as I said in April 2019 and I completely forgot what I was doing. I remember that I was using two. Um, I was knitting them two at a time and uh, that was a test knit. So I can't say much about the process per se because test knits you know, they go here and there. And I could probably have a peek from perspective of like, okay, you had a pattern, right? So I, I think I did, but I think I deleted it, so I don't have anything. And because this pattern um, you can only get from, I think, um, magazine. So I would not even say which one, just in case I make a mistake. I will put links down below to Erica's um, Instagram and she's telling you all about it over there. So I would say check it out. And um, I will definitely link to Raverly page. Um, and because the pattern is in magazine, it's not available on Raverly. So I presume that's why I don't have a copy. So I can tell you. I can tell you there are two sizes, that's for sure. And I think I picked the one closer to my, to my heart. <laughs> And normally what I cast on. However, as you've heard, I use 365 meters um, yarn, which is 400 meter, 400 yards. I think that gave a slightly thicker uh, effect. And um, I see that I did not my, do my standard heel. I actually followed the heel from the pattern. And by the stitches, the look of the stitches, it looks that I was knitting from toe up. Um, I think it's quite interesting because uh, you don't knit on the right side, you knit on the wrong side. As I recall, I think you do the toe and then you change it, then you knit on the wrong side and then you come back to the heel and you work on the right side. Obviously I think you work, you know, kind of flat. Um, so you go in here and there and then so once you finish the heel you go back to work on the wrong side until you get to this beautiful, to this beautiful flowery effect. And probably that's why I had a hook, just to help myself with it, because it was, you know, it is a little bit involving, you can see, but so beautiful. Um, and then we had one by one, as you could see, rib over here, and my way, ends are not really waving, so. So here it is. And just saying, for those who are involved in the knit -ons and stuff like that, I could not enter these socks into anything and I could not enter it even to the, to the mileage 
So I'm just saying to you that I knitted them in 2019. <laughs> Although I can show you them now. So that's that. And as you can see, the yarn is beautiful. It has quite an interesting blend because we have Peruvian Highline wool and um, you definitely feel it. Uh, you definitely feel it. So, uh, so that's that. Um, but it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. What I recall, I knitted them quite fast. I think I stopped when I was on the heel section from my knitting two at a time. Um, there was something that I couldn't, I had to slip stitches. Um, but that was a test and mode, so probably it's fixed now. Uh, so don't worry too much about it if you're knitting that method, I think. And anyway, if you get to that point and you're knitting a few socks, you will, you will know how to go around it. Um, I think that's that, although maybe it's where the motif was. Not sure, but uh, I sorted it out. I basically put them to two separate ones and finished it and it was such a quick knit as you can, can probably say because all those pearls that you see are actually knit um, on the side that you're knitting and then flip it. So it is just so, so nice. And uh, yeah, so. And again, if you have never knitted socks before, check the links down below. There are a link to my step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm planning to do a mitten one soon and the how I knit socks are nine inches from the beginning till the end, just for fun, just to, in case you want to watch it, uh, because I always have socks on the go. Not now though, but I, I got a mail from a swap, so but we shall see. So yeah, I think that's that for me and I think there will be a beautiful a gift, I presume, because they're slightly bigger. Yeah, thank you Erica for letting me to test knit. You may wonder how it is that I took part in the test knit. Basically at the beginning of last year and year before, I just went on Instagram and whoever posted that needed a test knit um, and I saw it, I just went for it. So in 2018 I knitted a sweater and in 2019 I knitted socks. In 2020, unfortunately I'm too busy <laughs> to help this year. But uh, it is an amazing adventure to try it. So if you've never tried testing it, go for it um, because you will learn a lot and you will have lots of fun, I would say, for sure. Okay. <laughs>